Maybe you're shopping for an RV. Maybe you're looking to trade in size, either up or down in an RV. Maybe a class B RV, which is essentially a van, is something that you're really interested in. Maybe you're looking for some additional innovation in a class B RV. Well, today you're in the right spot because you're gonna to tour two different floor plans on a single chassis, Ford Transit. We're gonna give some demos of a bed system. We're gonna be doing some measurements and you're gonna see a 32 inch TV drop out of the ceiling on a class B RV. Stay tuned. really appreciate that. My name is Scott. I'm your host. Welcome to Go Small, Live Large. We are a YouTube channel dedicated to learning and sharing with you the places we go, the people we meet, and the RV lifestyle, in particular the Class B RV. I am living and working a corporate job full-time since February 2019 from my Winnebago Travado, and that's what you're seeing behind me here today. But today, we're going to be looking at a different manufacturer and a different approach to the Class B RV. And that's with my paid partner, Embassy RV, out of Elkhart, Indiana. You may be familiar with them if you've been watching this channel for a while. If you're not, you're gonna to wanna to stick around because they do some really crazy, innovative things in a Class B RV. What do I mean? How about 46 gallons of fresh water on board in a Class B RV? What about no wood on the interior build-out of a RV? What about no black tank on an RV? What about a porch and tent hanging off the rear doors in a Class B RV? Embassy is really super innovative. Today, what you're gonna see is a best of a 1.5 hour Zoom live Q&A with this audience. And we were live in a campout situation in Michigan. And you're gonna see about demos, measurements and some of those RV systems. Stay all the way to the end because we have some really cool announcements you're not going to want to miss. Let's go. So maybe just give a little update on where the RV industry is, where Embassy RV is, and in the state of uh, things currently. The Class B motorhome industry is the strongest in the business right now. You know, everyone still wants to travel. They don't want to, the bus industry is about dead. Nobody wants to ride a bus. Nobody wants to go on a train or a plane, you know, but everyone wants to get out of the house. So yeah, business is really good. Um, I, I teased about a no black tank in an RV. How how is Embassy tackling a, a black tankless RV, which is kind of different? There's a couple ways to do it, right? The the Labio dry flush is turning out to be an incredible toilet. Um, it's a little bit of a learning curve, but not much. But we're learning, you know, there's things you can do to assist it and get a lot of life out of the bags. You know, Greg and I were talking about that last night. Greg's um, a customer. Just yeah. got his, we're going to tour that in a minute. Yeah. That's uh, the traveler wearing a sportsman. We'll talk about floor plans in a second. You hit a button and it puffs up and it comes out of the toilet just a little bit. And it's kind of weird looking. looks like a balloon's blowing up. All of a sudden you hear a motor running, you know, it's twisting and turning down below and then it sucks it down and you've got a new bowl every time. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty incredible. restroom inside is 27 and a quarter on everything we build so if somebody wants a compost toilet if somebody wants a cassette toilet if somebody wants a, a lab there you go flush, like they all it. fit in the same space Let is how it's great thanks guys for your flexibility and gals so so rich is on the camera here i don't think you can hear me but what i'll do is we lift this up right and this exposes yeah. the toilet put the drape over the top and that'll lock in place when you lift up just, just like, like that, that. So, so the toilet is I was mistaken well, yeah 18, I was mi 18 inches wide okay, um, and it's 18 inches tall so oh, I was mistaken my apologies 21 inches yeah, deep and that's a fairly standard it's toilet fairly size. standard I mean it's it's low well actually it's not low yeah, it's it's no, I look. It's about the same First height. First time on camera on a potty. I'm pretty sure. So <laughs> <laughs> the crazy thing, but yeah, that's and uh, that hasn't been used yet. Hasn't been so used. So don't be afraid to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> and what's nice about this is when you're done, it just kind of you know goes away, and you don't have to, have to even look at it, which is really awesome, right? I um, mean, still have your nice back foot in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure this cabinet here. Uh, just give you a, a sense of perspective. Sit down. So this is. Um, 
called a 40 Seven. yeah functional 47 46 inches wide which is for us that are inches challenged about three almost four feet um, wide and then it's um, eight, 18 inches deep okay and then it's um, and a half. testing Terry's uh, it's just a tad over 36 so three feet tall so that's that's actually pretty good. Um, this is really comfy to watch you know, because of a giant TV right here. You guys can see that, right? Um, we watched storms on it last night. I know. Time. And if you're doing a standing <laughs> desk, I, I just did a, um, a video on that um, with my Travato mobile office. This is actually a very comfortable. It's, it's about the same height. Kitchen counter height. Yeah, it's a very, it's so you're looking down, but with the TV setup, you can actually connect your laptop to the TV. So you're not looking down, you're looking straight at the TV. So that is a really cool setup. If you, like you say for a mobile office, um, what questions do you guys have on the, what do you even call this area? Do you have a name for it? Uh, here's what we would like to do. We'd like to ask customers to give us ideas on names. I create things and I can't keep up with names fast enough. So this, this is my the partner entertainment Mike had a great center. idea. We could have them have fun contest. with it and throw some names at us, <laughs> see what we come up with. Okay. Well, this is cool. I like this a lot. Um, and then there's some cabinets down below. Oh, you guys can see that. We got stuff in here. Terry's. Oh, there's, there's, you stole folder. my. You stole my paper towels. I, I bought a whole pack <laughs> to get back to you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Terry fed and watered us last night. It was awesome. Um, so let me just make sure nobody else is waiting in the waiting room. Questions. Okay. So let's move to the galley and show no, that. Show this. This is actually air conditioning. Uh -oh. Show okay. underneath. What's all underneath there? There's batteries underneath this area. This is all storage. The air conditioners in the back side of the cabinet actually breathing through here and underneath is storage. But we do have whether it's this has four AGM batteries in it, but it also the same space holds the 450 or 600 lithium battery under there. So it's battery at the bottom here. Air conditioner, if, if you're able to look in the very back, the air conditioner is back here. So you have some storage here for bedding and stuff. The wheel well is right there but you can see paper towels and stuff that in. You can see the edge of the battery there. So it's, so it's, 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 it's there's storage, but it's mostly, this is uh, pretty large storage on the top. Here. It is. Okay. Yeah. And so it's about half storage yeah. available to the owner and half for systems. Yes. I'd say. But the beauty is Wait, this know? is ducted air conditioning. Oh, yeah, you guys see these? When you're sleeping in this sofa and you point these this way, it's this incredibly comfortable. And it's super quiet because the air oh, conditioner yeah. is unlike mine, uh, which is actually not bad. But this is really nice. Yeah, if you fire it up, they probably hardly hear it. So if you have a hot spouse, you want to put them on this side under the vent. So we, we ducted two here, and we have one ducted <laughs> back into the porch and tent off this ducted air conditioner system. So you have air blowing in all the areas, and it stays really comfortable. I set the air conditioning at 78 in here, and it's super comfortable. Super comfortable. Super, yeah. because the thermostat's up high, but down here... It's, it's great. Yeah, that's really cool. So let's just measure this bad boy. So the galley width is, we'll call the functional 34 inches, but it's really about 35. And that's from the backsplash if you're on top, it's real close to 36, yeah, it's, 35 uh, and a half. But it's um, just under yeah. three feet wide and just under two feet. So it's about 21 yeah. functional inches, I would say. Yeah. Um, so plenty of cook space for, or counter space to prepare induction cooktop goes here if you want. It's got a real um, residential fridge, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, and you have the counter behind you that's very easy to yeah. add as additional space. So, so you might be thinking, where's, where's the counter extension? You don't need yeah. it because it's all right. this. How much was this again? Do you guys remember? Almost 48. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's serious counter extension. So uh, what else should we know about here? So the microwave, uh, which is great. We are offering, it fits in the same space, uh, grill microwave from Samsung as an option. I have several customers that just had to have it. Grill microwave? It's a grill microwave. That so we're, we're getting that coming in. We're going to take a look. I have two customers that want to put it in, so we're going to have it. A, okay. It's a, instead of um, convection, right? convection, there's a new grill Samsung microwave. So you guys so don't toast you... things and does stuff like that. Okay. Um, it fits in the same space. Now I'm going to show you how to use it so you don't toast your batteries and stuff cooking the chicken again. Uh, no dirty water? Yes. Is with us today. Um, you want to be on camera and go do a height demo quick? Sure. Yes. This is Pierce. He's from No Dirty Water. He came out to show some of the stuff. So this is live, you guys. This is really cool. So he was he was touring my, my Travato. And you're how tall? 5'11". 
I'm six foot five. Six foot five. And how are you doing in, in the uh, Travado? Kind of like this? Uh, a little rough, <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. So I'm going to, I mean, your hair touches, but you literally have. And also I'm, I'm wearing shoes too. So you maybe have like an inch of height. Yeah. So, so a six foot five there. guy, um, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, this is good space. I mean, you so, couldn't do it in my rig. No, absolutely not. You couldn't do it. Yeah. So if you're tall, this yeah, is the yeah, this is the tallest of the three chassis, yeah, right? Sprinter could do it. Do the same height as yours. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and so no dirt, no dirty water. What's your website? So if you can go check it out. Yeah, nodirtywater.com and uh, nodirtyair.com. Sweet. And we're gonna be doing some stuff with these guys. Do like the clear two O. We, this is what this channel is about. We learn together. We share. You decide what's best for you. That's what this is all and about. We right? put the no dirty water in every one of our units. It's purifying our bag tanks with their system on every vehicle we build. Well, that's cool. Let's show the closet. They're the same in all. The closet in this is two closets. I'm going to move. So basically, I did the linen closet twice. And we lost your front one. Oh, that's fine. So we basically did the linen closet twice. So it's just eight drawers in here, soft clothes. And storage down below, pretty good size storage and storage down here below. So um, our electronics are up top, just like they always are, where they're accessible. <laughs> and again, I, I know you guys, this audience is pretty savvy, but what makes this <laughs> embassy? I just love working with these guys. Is again their 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 innovation down to there's literally no wood in here. So what we're looking yeah. at is marine grade plastic. It feels very quality. It's aluminum framing. There's no staples, there's no glue, well, there's no wood glue, there's no wood, and that's a pretty you big... You can't glue anything to this, it won't stick to it. Yeah, so I hope you're enjoying this. Hope you're getting something out of it. If you are, sure would appreciate a thumb up. That helps me know that you liked it, helps others find the channel, and helps YouTube know that you liked it, which brings others to this channel. Um, give a comment below. What kind of innovation are you looking for in a Class B RV? Which do you, kind of innovations do you wish your rig had, that you currently own, or one that you're looking at buying? I'm just kind of curious, what kind of innovation are you looking for in a Class B RV? If you're into Class B RVs, van life, living in, a, in an RV or a van, full-time, part-time, uh, consider subscribing to this channel. That's what we're all about. We learn, we share, you decide what's best for you. I just bring you the information. Again, been full-time this rig since February 2019. I'm not an expert, but I'm kind of out there doing it, learning real-time. Been honored to have you part of this growing community. Let's uh, take it up a notch to the Traveler. I'm going to drag my laptop out. You guys are going to get dizzy. So, Is this fun? You guys enjoying this, you folks? This is kind of fun. Look at this awesome campsite we got. I think you've already seen it. And, and uh, you've seen my uh, the change that Lily's had, right? So have you. So there's Lily, the van wrap. It looks pretty cool, right? We're driving to the campground and you see Scott at the gas station and you can't miss him. <laughs> I know. So let's jump in. So again, these are the same chassis, same chassis. right? Same yep. chassis. They're both rear wheel drive. So sport and this is traveler. So um, let's jump in here. Chair, you want to jump in? We have a handrail here. Handrail, which is great. Out. So you can, my immediate impression is that this is definitely up a notch in, in I don't want to say quality, but feel. Just a little more luxurious feel. I'm going to put that, sorry guys, live TV. Um, okay. You okay there, Rich? Mm -hmm. So tell us about this floor plan. What makes this different and desirable? Probably more expensive. Well, you get a complete bed out of this whole area when they power together. You actually get to take these bolster pillows, I call them, and lean them up. And this is how you make a chase lounge. You can go like this with these two pillows and lean up, and the TV drops down from the ceiling. And when you sit in this going down the road, it's incredible on the comfort. And Scott, you can lounge here real quick. I'll let you be the lounger. On the, on the Vanna White or something. Keep your feet up. Or my shoes are it's it's made by actually it's, it's sorry can't hurt it and the TV comes down from there oh my goodness Rich you're going away look at that now that is cool. you could do two of these technically yes right? both sides both down. sides <laughs> wow this is uh, nice does, there's not a better spot riding down the road than that when you build a seatbelt and we do have a seatbelt that wraps around right there and how big is the TV 
32 high def. Yeah, this is just, this is cool. This would be movie night, popcorn night. <laughs> this is groovy. Okay. So let's, uh, let's, you guys want to see the beds operate? What do you think? Um, let me move this TV back up, and all you do is literally lift it. Right? Lift it, and you're going to have the strap on this and just come ah. through and just fire. Everybody does do that. Everyone powers it. <laughs> That's um, kind of a joke. Yeah. So I mean, I wanted to go no power because when you power, they go power from one side. The other side's lazy. It hangs down all the time and rattles. Mm. So I went 80 pound struts and 40 pound struts and created somewhat of a zero gravity effect. So it's helping you take some weight off as you lift it. Mm. And I'm using rotary latches, which are how your doors latch, mm. which are very safe. When you pull the strap, Reverses. it releases two latches and the TV comes down and the 40 pounders push it forward and hold it so it doesn't rattle going down the road. So it's a very stable string. That's why the other guys don't do it. That's yeah. a lot of engineering. <laughs> okay. So um, so let's, you guys, we're going to operate the bed, right? You want to stand up, Scott, right yeah. here, and you're going to touch the screen. We will uh, move this to the other side. Oops, sorry, guys. Right here. When you touch the screen, you'll see driver sofa in and out. And I'll let you do it. Touch driver sofa out. Driver sofa out. Yep. So driver side, it says driver's side sofa out. Just hold it. Okay. I made it momentary because if the child was there, I want him to be able to let go of the button and stop. Yeah, good idea. So that powers out. Now, if you went just a little ways, you'd do this. Power back a little bit. In. Oh, driver's side. Mm -hmm. Stop. Now you can have an aisle way still and go like this, and you got a nice wide bed, and it's like an armrest for you. There. Yeah. And you can still get up and walk back to the restroom. Yep. So let's measure that. That's interesting. So, so this part here is just over two feet, so about yeah. 25 inches. And if you include this, so this is going to move down a little bit further. So this, what'd you call it? That's armrest. Holster pillows. Yeah, is about um, about seven inches, guys. See that? Yeah. So you're about 32 inches overall with that. So now we're going to move driver's side out. sofa out until it gets all the way out. <coughs> now right. these go like this, and that's how you make a complete bed. Sorry for my back, guys. Okay. And it's very tight. You don't have big yep. gaps like you have with most. So now this is just uh, just a tad over three feet, yeah. which is pretty significant. And then, and then this this way, folks, is uh, is what's well, 58 inches to here, but just under six feet. Make it six foot. But then you have this extender here, which um, I don't know if that's on camera or not. But yep. so this goes to 80 inches, which is just. A few inches shy of seven feet. Yeah, these are actually 60 inch sofas with that, so it goes 80 inches. Uh, because the Ford has a little more, even though they're the same length, the front seats give me more room oh. the way the Ford's set up than a ProMaster does because they come back into the coach a little bit. I got it. Okay. Now, this one has a 54 inch sofa over here, a 60 inch over here. The ladies aren't usually as tall. And what that gave us is we moved all the cabinets forward. He didn't lose. The pantry and stuff here and we put a bike storage in the back so i was able to jostle a little bit and that's controlled custom again go so two different length sofas and i'm storing a fat tire electric bike in the back right this moves forward then yeah. so they both do? move that's passenger in and out so you guys want to see that passenger out and it'll push together pretty good and then those will drop down so just go to those drops and then you just do the same thing and these will go in like this, and then you've got a bed here. So let's measure that. Now, this will make everybody so jealous. Um, so end to end, wall to wall, door to wall, whatever you call it. Uh, it's is, the width of the vehicle. Yeah, so it's, I'd say it's a functional 60, 68 inches, which for so inch challenge is about five and a half feet yeah. this way. And that's the most width we can get out of the vehicle at that height. If you sleep diagonal, like now a lot of folks do. The table comes out, pull the strap, end table comes out so, of the other one. Diagonal. Yeah. Oh. Just you know, so if you sleep like this yeah. you're by yourself. So this is easily is you know seven, seven feet. feet. Yeah. And then this there's a velcro oh, back there. I want to pump this there we go. Now this goes on top of that. Real real time TV guys. Okay. Now you just made a six foot bed here. So six foot and bed. An 80 inch bed here. 
I have people asking, can I fill in the gap? And yeah, we can make a little thing there that fills in the gap. Yeah, so this is, uh, yeah, right at six feet. Yep. And have them partially together, and it's an IOA with two beds. So you have two single beds or one bed. I'm kind of unique in a class B. There's not too many that do this. No. Um, what do you multiplex wiring? Is that it's what you a call multiplex this? Multiplex system. I have three of them in So here. passenger side in. Yeah. It's really quiet. Yeah, that's a and fast. Really nice motor. So this velcro back. The back. back and there's a little bit of velcro back there just yeah. keep them from tumbling. And so you can from this panel, I see ceiling lights, mood lights, bath reading lights, vanity lights. And radios, running boards, floor lights. Floor lights? What's a floor light? There's mood lights in the floor Ooh, at night so you can get out and use the restroom. <laughs> oh, I like this one. All lights off. Is there an all lights on? Yes. And here's what it does. It remembers what you had on at the dimming that it was and turns it right back the same way. Oh, that's sexy. Uh, how now, do every light, light in there, Scott, if you hold the button, it dims. If you let go and hold it again, it brightens. So every light's dimmable on that system. That's my first time seeing this. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, that's really nice. So let's try it overhead. Yeah, the ceiling the lights ceiling lights and hold it and it'll start dimming down. Oh. And well, let go and it stops there. Now does, if you hit all lights off, all lights on, it'll come right back where you so left all it. lights off. All lights on. It's the same dim it was before. So you, it'll remember what you like. Yeah, dimmable. Why doesn't everybody do that? Yeah, these are great at night too. They throw just enough light up at oh, the yeah. ceiling. So I don't do rope lights because you always lose a bulb and it just looks horrible. I do individual lights that if they ever go bad, I can change it easily. But since I did that, I've never had one go bad. Right. Okay. So let's measure the galley. They should be very similar. It's just one's wearing plastic. This is Corian. So it was uh, about 35 on the inside of the lip. Yeah. Um, and then um, let's say 21 and a half this way. So pretty big. Um, big sink. giant residential sink, which is awesome. I just love we can have all this vast window. It's just so it's this so nice. Is one thing that Vernon and Kate did tell me also is do not take away from this panoramic view. Right. Uh, when you travel to Alaska and in the mountains and some of these beautiful areas in the country, you're outside traveling down the road, and when she sits back here, Vernon has to drive. She gets to enjoy, enjoy all this, this view, yeah. and it is incredible. You're you're like in this traveling picturesque. Vehicle. Yeah, it's it's really spectacular. So microwave up above, cabinetry. So maybe tell us about the. Um, this is cool. I love this. Have you guys seen this? This is the drawer freezer Nova Cool. You don't bend over to get anything out of it. It's right here in front of you. You know, there's a door version of it. This is about a hundred dollars more. This but is way cooler. Who wouldn't want the drawer? Yeah. I mean, you're not bent down, crawling on your knees, trying to get something out of a freezer. Right. It's, just, it's a large yeah, that's, I mean, it's waist height to start with, right? Um, that's crazy awesome. It's so it's 13. 13 by 16. Uh, 16 by depth is 9. Eight, 9. It'll go a little higher, but that's say 9. That's pretty amazing. So I have a Nova Cool in my rig, and I just love it. Um, you guys see in this? Think uh, Greg has liquor and stuff. Oh, we had bit. pizza last night. That was night. our leftover from last night. That was great. <laughs> so this is this is huge. So I always crow about my huge fridge. This one's so it's uh, thirty three inches tall. <laughs> By uh, let's call it seventeen deep and uh, a fourteen wide. I mean that is a and each shelf yeah, yeah, has an big ass fridge. feature for taller things. Yeah, it's really nice. And they're just amazing. I mean, and you guys have this nice um, stainless on the um, yeah. on the front. So it just looks super high end, it's right? It's a dual compressor 12 volt refrigerator. Each compressor draws four amps of DC power. So the refrigerator has its own compressor freezer. What that means is when you open the refrigerator, you're not turning on the freezer compressor. Oh, I see. So you actually lose less power. I got you. Because the freezer only has to work when you open it. Right. It's a sweet the rest wow. of the time. So that's how they do power management of this. That's really cool. Hope you enjoyed those virtual tours. It was a lot of fun making those. And um, again, they are just the most amazing partner. They really drive innovation forward in the Class B space. And uh, even though I don't drive one, uh, I love working with these guys, Embassy RV. If you want more information, please go to their website, embassyrv.com. There's information on floor plans, some of the photographs. There's an inquiry form there. Be sure and tell them that Scott sent you. Um, they'll 
treat you with kid gloves and um, you want to reach out. Uh, Terry Minix is super busy, but he is really good about getting back with folks. Um, I have a special announcement, so stay at the end here. If you did learn something today that you didn't know before, I sure would appreciate a thumb up. That helps others find it, lets me know you liked it. Subscribe. Again, if you are into van life, RVing, uh, living, or working for one of these things full time, uh, this year the right place. So please consider joining our growing community. We're about 7,000 people right now, which is amazing. Goal for 10,000 subscriptions by the end of the year. So I'd be honored to have you a part of my community. Uh, visit my website. There's a whole bunch of information right there, including my itinerary. We've got guys and gals, a whole bunch of events coming up, socially distanced appropriately, but we've got some live uh, events coming up, uh, both around Volta in Rockford, Illinois. Uh, we've got a couple of community gatherings of channel audience members, one at a brew pub in Homewood, Illinois, and another one in Cincinnati coming up. So you'll want to check out those. And the big announcement is, if you're in the greater Chicago area or you're in the Elkhart, Indiana area, uh, we are doing a special event on July 25th, 2020 at Union, Michigan, Willow Shores Campground. It's an all day guest event with Embassy RV customers, prospects. If you're interested in touring these rigs in real time, we're gonna be doing uh, live demonstrations. We're gonna do RV skill building. We've got a, a craft beer tasting plans. I'm in charge of that. And um, we got a cookout and a, and, a, um, and a campfire. So a lot of fun event. We're going to be social distancing appropriately, of course. But if you are, again, in the area and want to join us, um, go to my website or to embassyrv.com. Fill out the uh, inquiry form there. Again, be specific about the July 25 event. We're limiting this to 25 people per campground restrictions. So we want to honor that. Um, a few spots are left. Um, this is posting... Um, just about a week before that event. So get on it if you want to join the action on July 25. If you're not able to join and you want more information, again, visit their website or down below in the show notes, I have put a whole bunch of the videos that I've created for and with Embassy RV. You can tour some of these systems, tour the factory, etc. So check that out down below. And we do Zoom with myself and the audience and the embassy folks on a monthly basis. And we also do YouTube Live. So a lot of engagement going on. A lot of folks are looking at RVs right now, whether they're looking to travel in one or work from one in these situations where traveling by air and hotel is not as awesome as it once were. So with that, um, I thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. And because again, that's what this is all about. And in case you're kind of wondering what my freaky background is, is I'm actually someplace I am not in my rig. That's a whole different story. So I'm using Zoom virtual backgrounds. So if you're wondering why this looks a little weird than normal, you guessed it. It's a little weird than normal. Um, more to come on that. So with that, we uh, thank you again, and we'll see you soon.